Hello everybody, it's I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Heritage for the Future Super Story Mode. So last time, we fought a monkey and the uh, fall a fake sea captain. Release your hatred. Ah, we get to play as Ponoreth now. Hey you, I can sense the evil within you. You must be my enemy. Get out. In fact, I, I can sense your murderous ambitions. They're quite deadly and violent. Violently nasty. Before you die, tell me your name. I am Debo, the Cursed One. How did you sense me? What are you, stupid or something? The bad vibes that you give off are so obvious. Anyone would know. And Bonnie Devil, Silver Chariot! You're so slow. <laughs> I'm impressed. However, you will be cursed. Alrighty, so one thing about the localization of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Heritage for the Future, is that a lot of name changes name changes were made. Sometimes it'll be a simple letter change. But other times let me pause this for a second. Other times, in the case of Debo, who's where the original Japanese name for him was Devo, which is based off of the, you know, the music group. So, so to, in order to avoid uh, copyright, they just simply change the name. But honestly, the, na the name they changed it to in Heritage for the Future, I think that's a lot better than what they did in the anime, because they translated this guy's name to Soul Sacrifice. From Devo to Soul Sacrifice. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Anyway, back to Polnareff, so... So, you know... So, Polnareff is a charge character. And he also has a, uh, mashing move. So, yeah. So, the main... The main... So the main gimmick with Deep Debo is that he can just control uh, the little doll thing, but hit but hit the actual character enough times, it'll disable him from using it. Unfortunately, this this guy's being uh. Unfortunately, this guy's being a bit annoying. To the point where he won't get off me, so I can't even do any of the charge moves. But regardless, I beat him. Hey Debo, I'm looking for a man who has two right hands. You must tell me where he is. You idiot, nobody reveals the secret of their stand so easily. You're so nasty. Tell me or I'll slash you up and your slash up your entire body. Get ready. And that's and that's Stevo for you. He's dead now. Temperance the man here. Okay. So this is the first instance of a character that was in Heritage for the Future that didn't that doesn't have AI in the original arcade. But now but now has AI here. Aha, uh -huh, I was just kidding. Stop glaring at me. What's the matter? You don't have a sense of humor? You scum. Something must be controlling or influencing you. I guess I'll have to wake you up the hard way. Ora. Uh, what is this? This is not Kakioi. <laughs> it's not quite the same as someone who's being, con who's being controlled. My yellow temperance 
is a stand that is not only visible, but can also be felt as well. Just remember how handsome I am. You rotten punk. So, one thing about stands is that they can take on any form. Sometimes they don't actually be visible to the public eye, or, n or the eye of a non-stand user. But most of them, um, stand user, uh, non-stand users can't see. But yeah, honestly, this is probably so. When I so when I actually play Heritage for the Future on Fight Kate, uh, I actually main Rubber Soul. But one of my favorite things about Zayi is that every time he counters, like every time he counters, he he'll always do that. He'll just always uh do the Rebel Rebel Rebel, and he also tried attempting the uh, s the uh, 720 super there. Yeah, even, even if he misses the counter, he'll still taunt. You know, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see if he'll actually approach me. There we go. Do you understand? Oh, I got the Seeker Factor on that. Please stop, I can't fight anymore. I'm numb. Please forgive me. Now tell me everything you know about this fan whether it's who are waiting for it. That's the last thing I would tell you. I wouldn't betray my comrades. Excellent, you're such a loyal guy. I understand. <laughs> Um, I just remembered. There are four stand wielders Death, Empress, Hanged Man, and Emperor. Among them is the man who killed Ponref's sister. I heard that his ability is related to Mirrors. I have to tell Ponref about this. <laughs> I'm so lucky that you took your eyes off your enemy. Die, Jotaro. What a loser, you don't seem to understand that your luck has ran out. I have nothing more to say, you're just too pathetic. Or, 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 Yep, that's it. Now, 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 if you want to play this game, just get, just get the arcade ROM. Just get Fightcade. There's, there's a lot of people that play this game online, and if you look up uh, JoJo Weekly Tournaments on Twitch, they do weekly tournaments, and they're honestly really interesting. And they also have a Discord as well. And let's let's see how fast we can do this. And ooh, wandering emperor. Ooh, we get we finally get to meet whole horse. The gun is mightier than the sword. Remember those words of wisdom. <laughs> hmm. Who are you? Hey cowboy, do you know the man who has two right hands? The double right-handed man. He's my partner. He is near. What? Who is it? You don't need to know that. That's because I'll finish you here. If you want to be beaten up before telling me who he is, that's fine with me. Come on. I'll tell you one thing before we fight. My stand is a gun. Hmm, a gun? How cute. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be dead and buried two days the final day of your life. I guarantee it. Does he really think I'm too slow to repel bullets like that? Whoa, what? Oh, I have to. You're being too reckless fighting alone like that. They know too much about you. 
Oh, what a rude interruption to our fight. Ooh, Ponoref, the bullet the bullets are coming back. I'll burn them. Magician's red. There's another stand in the puddle. Now watch out for the bullets. Well, that's nice. Lucky me. I thought Avdol's flame would have been the greatest threat. Mr. Avdol, no! Look at you, so pathetic. Who asked you to save me? I end up dying in vain. What? What? Ponorath, don't you realize that he saved your life? I'm not happy about that. I hate watching a friend die. I also like how the music cuts out and comes, cuts back in. Isn't it funny how life can end just as suddenly as it begins? Ponorev, don't listen to his taunts. We should we should retreat now. Don't give up. Let's go at it again. How could I retreat after all that has happened? There is too much resentment within me. Don't be so sad. You'll see Aftal again soon. You two will burn together in the afterlife. Son of a jackal. You must be Jay Gal. Your death will be most painful. And there we go. Man, that cutscene took long. But once the fight starts, I'll pause there. And that'll be the end of today's episode. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Anytime now. Goodbye.